Welcome back, LHS. I'm Emma. And I'm Trailer May, and this is your Blue, Blue Devil, Devil News. News. This week is Red Ribbon Week in support of Substance Abuse Prevention. Tomorrow's theme is Too Bright for Drugs, so break out your neon. LHS Choir is selling poinsettias for one more week. A six and a half inch pot is thirteen dollars and an eight inch pot is twenty five. The funds will help pay to transport the choir to Dollywood in April. LHS Softball is hosting a spectacular softball camp tomorrow from 5.30 to 7.30. The camp is open to ages 6 through 12. Teachers received an email from Coach Atwood with the sign-up link. Today's Down Syndrome Awareness Fact is there is three types of Down Syndrome. Trisomy 21 accounts for 95% of cases, translocation accounts for 4%, and mosaicism accounts for the other 1%. Skills USA Auto will meet after school every Wednesday in room A804. Now let's check in with Lucas for the weather. Thanks, Emma and Charlie May. Today's low was 45 and today's high will be 59. Rest the rest of the day will be pretty cloudy up until 6 p.m., which we should see clear conditions. Now back to Emma and Charlie May. Thanks, Lucas. In local news, Music City's Multicon is Nashville's largest annual gaming, comic, cosplay, and pop culture convention. It is taking place October 28th through the 30th in the Expo Center at the fairgrounds this year. A few people who will be there are David Finch, Metal Jesus, Ginger O Snap, and more. There will be vendors, panels, game top tables, video games, eSport tournaments, pinball tournaments, cosplay contests, and other events. Tickets can be purchased online or at the door. The three-day pass is a discounted rate, and kids' tickets are even lower in order to bring the whole family. There is a new bakery and coffee house coming to historic downtown Lebanon. Nick and Audra Gidry are opening a... Nick and Audra Gidry are opening Slow Hand Bakehouse in late 2022. They are also opening a restaurant, Juniper, in 2023. Mayor Rick Bell has proposed an ordinance to the City Council. The ordinance will approve the purchase of the property just south of the existing city parking for the square. The law will be used for additional parking by the square, and the Council will vote on the ordinance November 1st. Now to Evan with sports. Thanks, y'all. This Friday, our football team takes home Warren County. The student section theme is Pink Out. Now for more on Friday's game with senior cornerback number three, David Aluya. Come support our seniors, and it, it is our last region of regular season game. It's important that we have the student section packed to keep the energy high so it can bring home the win. Game starts at 7. Be there. Back to you, Evan. Thank you, David. The Phoenix Suns beat the Golden State Warriors 134-105. to Devin Booker led the Suns with 34 points, 7 assists, 2 rebounds. Chris Paul had 16 points, 9 assists, and 7 rebounds. Stephen Curry led Golden State with 21 points, 8 assists, 7 rebounds. Jordan Poole had 17 points, 5 assists, and 2 rebounds. The Suns play the New Orleans Pelicans October 28th as the Warriors take on Miami Heat tomorrow at 9 p.m. Thursday night football is tomorrow. We have Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens take on Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in Tampa. Kickoff starts at 7.15. That's all in sports today, guys. Back to you. Thanks, Evan. That's all the news we have today, LHS. I'm Emma. And I'm Charlie May. And this has been the news to you from, from the, the White and Blue. blue.